Shalom, beloved. A word. We're looking at a short video. The population of white Americans declines for the first time on record. On record. Let's look at this census sheet for a moment. Let's look at what this census actually gives people so that they can be counted. <clears throat> First of all, I want you to note about question number eight on the census. If a person is of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin, they are particularly Hispanic origins, they are not considered a race. Many of us also know that when they are marked on the census, they are counted as white. They are counted as white. So now we're going to look at the actual box for white. Anyone of German, Irish, English, Italian, Lebanese, Egyptian, etc. is counted as white. Northern Africans, Middle Easterners are counted as white. So when you see this census you know that the census is already incorrect. It's already incorrect. Now we're going to look at the short clip, beloved. As a matter of fact, I want to take you to Obadiah. I believe I have it. Obadiah, behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Though thou, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? I have made thee small among the heathen. Yes, beloved, I have made thee small. Now we're going to go to this clip. And I'm going to read it because it's not speaking at a certain point. The population of white Americans declined for the first time on record, according to data released by the U.S. Census Bureau. The number of people who only identify as white now counts for nearly 58% of the U.S. population, declining by 8.6%. Experts say the decline may be a result of aging population, a lower birth rate among millennials, and an opioid epidemic. Significant increases among Hispanic, Asian, and Black populations are also driving much of the growth. All right, I'm going to stop that one. When we read in Obadiah, what the Most High says about making them small. We're going to now go to the book of Jeremiah. We are now going to go to the book of Jeremiah. We are in I'm trying to, chapter 49, starting at the 15th verse. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Now, he's not just talking about America. He's not just talking about America. When Yahuwah does something, and according to the book of Second Baruch, starting in chapter 27, when it talks about the consummation of time, when Yasharel is coming out of her captivity, and the Most High is punishing those nations, the world, he talks about the fact, the angel of the presence, the angel of the Lord, as he's talking to the prophet Baruch, he tells him it will happen all over the world. These disasters. But we also know that if he's going after those who have cursed and brutalized Yasharel, when he says, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Is he talking about one place only or is he also talking about worldwide, worldwide? Let's take a look. 
let's take a look and see, beloved. Try to get it to, I had it at a starting point. Not going to start it there. Okay, let's take a look. Should be about there. Counts. Sperm count is defined as the number of sperm Talking per milliliter of semen sperm and is associated among with a whole load nations. of good things. High sperm count predicts a decreased risk of testicular cancer, decreased all-cause mortality and morbidity, and obviously makes it easier to conceive if that's something you're into. The reason we're doing this video, however, is because sperm counts have been falling since the 1970s and falling especially fast in the Western world. A 2017 meta-analysis of 185 studies involving about 43,000 men found that the mean sperm count in Europe, North America, Australia, and New Zealand, so basically Western men, had fallen from about 99 million sperm per milliliter of semen to 47.1 million in 2011. That's more than a 50% decrease. Similarly, total sperm count has fallen from 337 million sperm per ejaculation in 1973 to 137 million in 2011. That's more than a 60% decrease. So not only do men have lower sperm counts, they're also producing less semen overall. If sperm counts did continue to fall at this same rate, then they've reached zero by 2045. Now, this is something that the scientific community has known about for a while. In 1992, a well-cited paper by Carlson et al. found that sperm count had fallen from about 113 million per milliliter in 1940 to 66 million per milliliter in 1990. Obviously, this was a controversial and alarming conclusion, so scientists have been checking and double-checking the data ever since. But there's now a consensus that sperm counts are indeed dropping, and dropping fast. So why is this? Well, there's... All right, beloved. We see the Lord's word, be it in the book of Obadiah, be it in the book of Jeremiah, being backed up. It is not just going on here. It is going on globally. Did I just get rid of... I had one that I wanted, and I think... I erased the wrong uh, video. Forgive me, beloved. I wanted to show you. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it this way. All right. Obviously, the cause of the population implosion is that people are not having enough kids. To maintain a given level of population, each couple must have on average two kids. This is talking about population extinction it's going on all over europe it is also going on in asia in japan in china south korea i had the videos but instead of wasting time and trying to show you i'm just going to speak on it that what you see in this u.s census and what you see in obadiah supported by Jeremiah, okay, is the Lord's words coming true, okay? The Lord's words coming true. Thy terribleness has deceived thee in the pride of thy heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou should make thy rest as high as the eagle, and I will bring thee down from thence, Many people put their homes high up. Let me see if I have it. High up in the clefts of the rock. High rises. High rises in the clefts of the rock. Okay. Let's go back. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. All right? When you're talking about a cleft in the rock, you're talking about an opening. When you look at these still high rises or these, these uh, concrete stone high rises, they're openings where the apartments are. Okay? I'm going to eliminate as I go so that it's easier for me to find things. Okay. 
I am now in the book of, let me get it right, Jeremiah chapter 51, starting at the 47th verse. Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her. These catastrophes are going on worldwide, beloved. Right now in Greece and Athens, there are fires, but Athens and Greece is a city of idols. It's a city of idols, beloved. All of these worldwide global events that are going on right now, these are prophesied. We are literally watching it and seeing it move exponentially. It's growing in its rapidity. Yes, I did not lose it. Okay, when they're talking about population declines, particularly in America, whether they say white population or not, that's the only population that they're concerned with. Okay, I wanted to find, um, okay, this one, these events. Let me slow it down a little bit. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to Jeremiah. Thy terribleness has deceived thee in the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou should make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from hence. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. All right? And shall hiss at all the plague thereof understand something and i believe okay i have it at the same time they're talking about the census they're talking about population decline we're going to look at yasharel when yasharel was in egypt i'm in the book of exodus chapter one starting at the ninth verse and he said unto his people this is pharaoh a new king and he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Census. Come, let us deal wisely with them. They take crafty counsel. Lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get up out of the land. Hmm. Now, here's something, beloved. We talk about the exodus. We wait for the exodus. But understand something about those people, those nations that hate us. Believe it or not, they do not want to let us go. They do not want to let us go. Just like in the first Egypt, Yahuwah is breaking the power of this second Egypt because whether you believe it or not, when it's time for our exodus, they're not going to want to let us go. Okay. However, they recognize our power, our strength. They too, in the first Egypt were taking a census. They had to see that there were more Yashraelites than Egyptians. Here's the king after Joseph is gone. And he said unto his people, behold, the people the, of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them. We have seen those same words in the book of Psalms. I believe it's Psalm 80. They take crafty counsel against Yahuwah's hidden ones. Mm. They're taking crafty counsel here. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. 
lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Mm. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to, to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramses. When you look at our second Egypt, we built this city. We built America, just like in the first Egypt. Hmm. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Yasharel. Now, I'm going to refer back to that census of 2020. That same said census that began in 1790. If you take note of it, Yasharel was counted as 13% of the population in 1790. Although enslavement had not been done away with and there were more Yazraelites in the South than there were Babylonians, enslavement was also going on in the Northern colonies, which a lot of people don't talk about. Slavery in the North of America, in those original 13 colonies, was not begun to be done away with until the beginning of the 1800s, there was slavery in the northern portion of America, but they wanted to count us low as 13% of the population. At the same time, if you look over time at that census, they would never raise from 13%, our numbers. They wanted to play that mind game that there was less of us and more of them. But the more I'm going back, I'm at verse 12, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew and they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Hmm. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with vigor, make them work hard. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. Hmm, sound familiar? I know there was a time. We did our service in the field. And when you look at mortar, that's that building. And in brick, oh, we were building. Yes, we were. We were some of the best artisans and carpenters. Only when it became something to be proud of did the Babylonians take the jobs and try to afford those skills to themselves. But initially it was Yashirel who was building and using their artistry. Okay. And all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. And the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives of which the name of one was Shifra and the name of the other Pua. And he said, when you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools, that's those birthing stools. If it be a son, then you shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Hmm. Do we live in lands that target the males among us for utter destruction. Hmm. Hmm. And yet when we look, hmm. and yet when we look, I'm going back, I'm going to verse 12 before I come out of this. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. Beloved, right now they want to give the greater number of people here in America and many places around the world, they want to say it's Asians. They want to say it's Middle Easterners. And they give Yasharel a tiny portion. Don't believe it, beloved. Let's go again. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. There is no sperm deficiency in Yasharel. And they are growing greatly in number. And they were grieved, the enemies, because of the children of Yashorel. 
Mm, mm, mm. So when we look mm, at the book of Jeremiah, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go into the book of Job because I don't want this to go for so long. I believe it started at verse 20. I am in the book of Job, chapter 20. Okay. Job is talking. Okay. Okay. This is in the book of Job. So far, the Naamite is talking. And I'm going to start at verse 4. Book of Job, chapter 20. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, huh. though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Huh. He shall fly away as a dream. And shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. Mm -hmm. His children shall seek to please the poor. And his hands shall restore their goods. Mm, there's a season of restoration coming, beloved. We are in the season while we watch the destruction of our enemy, our restoration is at hand. The Lord with his, remember the, the, the word of the Lord is sharper than any two-edged sword. Okay. It's dividing asunder. Okay. There's destruction and there's reparation. Okay. There's destruction for one and reparation restoration for the other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hand shall restore their goods. His bones are full of sin, full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth, yet his meat in his bowels is turned. It is, gall, it is the gall of ass within him. He has swallowed down riches, oh yes, and he shall vomit them up again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God shall cast them out of his belly. The restoration, beloved, the restoration, the rejuvenation, okay, the spiritual balance, God, Yahuwah, hates unjust weights and balances. He's rebalancing, restructuring, putting the order back, okay? Hmm, you took what didn't belong to you, and you got more than you ever should have had. Okay, okay, hmm, we're going to look. We're in the book of Job, chapter 20. I'm at the 15th verse. He hath swallowed down riches. Yes, he did. Stripped lands and peoples. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he shall vomit them up again. Yahuwah shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of ass. And the viper's tongue shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore. Mm. See, he labored to steal it. He labored to rob that which was not his. But whoa, whoa, it's the season, beloved, of restoration. That which he labored for he shall restore and shall not swallow it down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. According to his substance shall be the restitution. All right, let me read that again. I'm going to highlight that if I can. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down according to his substance shall the restitution be 
and he shall not rejoice therein. Oh, no. Oh, no, beloved. See, we're not going out of here empty handed. Remember the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He going to vomit up. He going to vomit up. That thief is going to restore that which he took. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor. Because he have violently taken away an house which he built it not. Yes, beloved, you have people right here in this country work hard every day. And they violently take away their property, their lands. We know of a couple who worked hard. And this is just an example. Over in California to have beachfront property. Worked over 20 years so that Yasharel would have a beautiful place to go. But the enemy stole it. Now, they've restored it. But the restitution mm, is supposed to be there, too. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Surely, because he has oppressed and has forsaken the poor. Because he had violently taken away a house, which he built, if not, he did not work for it. Mm. Wait a minute. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. Mm -mm. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. Ain't nobody going to help him recover what he stole. Mm-hmm. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Mm -hmm. Every hand of the wicked, come on now, shall come upon him. Wait a minute. Woo. Mm -hmm. When he is about to fill his belly, Yah shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Woo. Help me, help me now. Let me let, let me see if I can give a little something something. <laughs> While he's eating, help me. I wanted to find one of the good. This is those storms coming. While he's eating, he's gonna rain it down, rain it down. While he's eating, he's gonna give the peace for the good. No, 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 no. Ooh. Raining down. Away from the windows, everybody. Back up away from the windows. Okay. There ain't gonna be no comfort. Lucas, back up. There ain't gonna be no comfort. No, 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 no. Finish. Baseball size hell. Okay, it's going on all over the world. I'm not going to play all of this. I'm just going to show you some of the damage, some of the fires that are going on. In the most high, hot displeasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, the greater amount of the Yashua lights initially were taken a tornado into struck his Louisiana home Brazil. early Saturday morning. Several injuries okay. all over the world, beloved. You got okay. volcanoes exploding and erupting. I'm just skipping right along. Skipping right along. Skipping. Very skipping. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the book of Job. Mm, mm. Mm. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. When he is about to fill his belly, Yah shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yes, yes. You sitting at home trying to do uh, uh, uh. You took peace from other people. You stole that which was never yours. This is the judgment of the most high. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Woo. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow still shall strike him through. Mm -hmm. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret place. A fire not blown shall consume him. Anybody seen any fire lately? Anybody seen any fire lately? 
it will it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The Lord uses his arsenals, his weapons, his 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 weapons of weather amidst other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his good shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from Yahuwah, and the heritage appointed unto him by Yah. Beloved, senses, senses. I wanted to find the one because this is going on globally. It is not just going on uh, uh, in one place. All right, I'm going to see. This is Elon Musk talking. If I can catch him at the beginning of his conversation. We should be concerned about demographic implosion. Why do you say that? So if you look at countries like Japan, most of Europe, China, and you look at the birth rates in a lot of those places is only at about half of the sustaining rates. When you have an inverted demographic permit, so if you like look at the, the permit and you've got age you've three, got age, more six year olds, fifty year olds, four year olds, four year olds, so like sort of demographic per permit. Right. Um, and in some countries it's sort of it's like an upside down permit. So it'll sort of fall over. So it just will not will not stand. What we'll actually have in those countries is a very high dependency ratio where the number of people who are retired is, is very high relative to the number. I wanted to see if I could find another portion in this, beloved, but I had it and I don't want this to just go on and on and on. So. When you see this census, this census does not just count for the U.S., this census is going on in Germany, it's going on in Italy, it's all over Europe. The face of Europe has changed, okay? When you look at China, when you look at Japan, when you look at South Korea, all of these places that got rich off of Yashirel, their population has shrunk, okay, while Yashirel is exploding, all right? Let me see if I can find it again, just so I can make sure that I'm not going to play any more of the videos. I wanted to find, uh, is it Joe? Maybe Joe. Wait a minute. I believe that's it. Job is talking. We are in, this is the book of Jeremiah, forgive me. Jeremiah is backing up Obadiah. When you see things repeated in the Bible, in scripture, particularly about a certain subject, it is written in the heavenly tables. It is as certain as dawn tomorrow. It is as certain as time. It is as certain as you are hearing it, beloved. I do not want to continue because there were a lot of pages I was going to go to. But this U.S. census, they're not 58%. It's, it's, that's long gone. That's over. Okay. Nor are Asians of a vast number. If you're dealing with the Chinese, they had the one-child policy for years years since the 80s if I got it right in my memory Japan is overworked they've got more older people than younger people Yashirel has more younger people than older people not that the older people are dead and dying off but that's the birth rate that's showing you the power but again they're not going to tell you beloved and the reason they're not going to tell you it's just like I told you, they started the census in 1790 and told us we were 13% and they always want to put us in the teeny, weeny, 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 inky, pinky little number. But it's a lie. 
they take crafty counsel, beloved. They take crafty counsel, okay? I'm going to read the book of Exodus. I'm in chapter 1, and I'm going to start at the ninth verse, and then we're going to come to a conclusion. This is the king of Egypt talking after Joseph has gone. He's dead. He knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Yasharel are more and mightier than we. Hmm. I wonder. Is, 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 is that now? Wait a minute. Come, let us deal wisely with them. Hmm. I wonder what you could do to try to destroy the people. What could you do? Hmm. Could you start a plague? Could you... I don't know. Give them something. Just thinking. Okay. Let's see. Come. Let us deal wisely with them. Lest they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. Mm, mm, mm. And so get them up out of the land. Woo-wee. I'm going to pronounce something over Yasharel. Yah of my ancestors, Yah Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, Yasharel. I ask that you come into the midst of us, Father. We repent of the sins of our ancestors and our own sins. We ask that you remember the covenant that you made with our forefathers. We ask that you strike down our enemies that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Let it not work, but turn upon them. Let any trap they lay for us, let them fall into. Let the angel of the Lord chase them on dark and slippery paths. And we're going to believe and receive and glorify in your word. When you said that whether we drink any poison or get bit by any poisonous snake, it shall not Harm us. We thank you, praise you, honor you with all glory and all praise. Hallelujah, glorious Father. Glory unto thy word of life and thy holy rule. We praise you and thank you for these and all thy blessings. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. No weapon, beloved, formed against us shall prosper. If you drink any poison or get bit by any poisonous thing, it shall not harm thee. Hmm. I don't know, some, some little serpent try to stick it with something. It shall not harm thee. I'm not telling you not to be as wise as a serpent, but as guileless as a dove. What I'm telling you is whether you get bit or drink, consume any poison, it shall not harm thee. For those of you who have already done it, it shall not harm thee. For those of you who don't want to do it, I understand fully, but no weapon, I don't care how great it is, shall prosper against Yahshua. A word, beloved. Shalom.